afternoon to everyone and welcome back to our next session of free online lesson. Okay, I will introduce myself. My name is Shafiq Farhan. So for today, I will like to do topics regarding, we call it as a Fusion 360 modeling in cloud. Okay, so before I start, uh, we'll, I want to uh, say apologize because currently we cannot do live Facebook due to technical issue, but it's okay. So we'll just proceed here. Later, we will upload to our Facebook account. All right, so my name is Shafi Farhan. This will be Aket System website. When you go to any browser, you can go to here, click on the address bar, type in aketsystemswiths.com. So then you will go to our main page, which is look like this. So when you scroll a little bit below, they will have autorest promotion and news. So this will be promotion that we give and also autorest gift to everyone. Right, so over here to everyone. Okay, for example, if you want to know more about uh, sales, flash sales from Autodesk, including AutoCAD LT, AutoCAD N, a few more software, you can click here. But this sales are already end, and we, we also have industrial collection with Wi Fi promo, PDMC with bundle training. So all this included, and you can check it out into our academyassistance.com. Right. For free online lesson, today's topic will focus on modeling in Fusion 360. Okay, when you go with Fusion 360, means you need to use software and cloud to integrate each other. So I will show to you how to use these tools and how to collaborate between your team using Fusion 360. Okay, if you plan to join more on our Free on a lesson, you can subscribe into our website, get the email uh, blast every day. We will blast everything regarding free on a lesson. Then if the topics is related to your job, you can join it together. Right, so also here. I want to... Okay, so Fusion 360 is basically one of the things that inside this one, Product Design Manufacturing Collection. So before I start, I will like to launch one pool. This one also. All right, so Fusion 360 modeling in cloud. So how to use and how to install, who are able to in, uh, access the software. Okay, for example, if you want to know more about Fusion 360, the first thing you need to know about, we call it as Autodesk Collection Bundle, Industry Collection. So our focus today is more focused on product design manufacturing collection. Uh, mostly, of, more, most of you will from a mechanical or manufacturing background. So this will be the best tools for you to create a 3D modeling. Okay, for those that come from architecture or construction design, you can go with AEC collection, which include a few software like Revit, Advanced Steel, Simul 3D, and so on. Okay, for PDMC, Product Design Manufacturing Collection, okay, the first thing that you will need to know, the software, software included. Okay, for product design stage or engineering stage, production stage, so what software that you need to use and what PDMC can help you. Okay, so this will be the idea of PDMC. When you go with PDMC bundle collection, so you can create something for including conceptual design, mechanical engineering, including tolerance analysis and so on, simulation, missioning, CNC cam, and much more software. So this will be the things that you can cover using product design manufacturing collection. All right, so I will direct go to Fusion 360, but this will be additional things that you need to have when you subscribe the collection. You also will get the AutoCAD specialized tool set, which include AutoCAD, Plan 3D, AutoCAD Mechanical, over here, and a few more software. Okay, for those that work with, related with PCB, AutoCAD Electrical tool set is 
much more easy to do schematic drawing. Right, so next. Okay, design collaboration. Right, I believe most of you want to use, uh, want to discover more about cloud servicing and cloud modeling. So how to do modeling using cloud and how to save your file into cloud and everyone can access your parts or your model that you already created. So using product design manufacturing collection, the best solution that I would like to suggest, you can use Fusion 360, but if the normal method you use already inventor, then just proceed with inventor, then you can upload your inventor file into cloud base also can. Okay, so this will be the idea how to share your file drawing using inventor. So you just need to click on share view, click the name and share. So after that, you will get in the link, URL link to give to other people. So other people just need to have any browser, for example, Google browser or Microsoft Edge to open the view. So this will be the idea or method. Okay. So even though you use Fusion 360 or Inventor, both same, all third party software you can open, you can easily read it and make uh, and view it into a 3D model directly, into a solid body or into a surface. All right, so simulation also can be done using PDMC. Advanced simulation also, fatigue buckling and a few more features that can be done using Nasran, Inventor Nasran. Right, so for Fusion 360, go to Fusion 360. Right, so for Fusion 360, they will have a few things that included inside Fusion 360 itself. So when you purchase Fusion 360 only, so this will be the things that you will get. Okay, three exists, including the cam, okay, also including the PCB design. Okay, for example, you want to make it a motherboard, then you can use uh, this Fusion 360 also. And you also can do simulation inside Fusion 360 and extra Fusion 360 can create generative design. And I believe we last few weeks, we already done with this topic. You can check back into our Facebook to view it. All right, so I go to Fusion 360 design software. All right, so when you install your Fusion 360 software, the software need to install locally into your PC and all the file will save into your cloud. So that's the objective, the first things. Okay, so how to access your file? You just need to go to any browser, go to this link, a360.autodesk.com. a360.autodesk.com. So after you go with this link, it will bring you to this portal, a360 portal. Okay, you can create how many projects you want just by simply click on this create project. Okay, if you already done with creating project, you can invite other people, maybe your team member into this project, in certain project. Okay, so after you done also inviting the, the person into this project, so every file that inside this project, all will uh, can see and can download it directly. Right, so how to access this, the file inside here? So like I say, before you, before you, after you install the software, you need to sign in into your email address also and access into your project over here. Okay, after you go here, okay, I give you one example. Okay, this will be the things that we can create using Fusion 360. Okay, this one, we call it as a 3D PCB. We can create as a 3D or we can convert it into a 2D, link with 2D PCB. Okay, and after that, if you have a wiring also can be done using Inventor. Okay, for example, you have one few wires over here, then Inventor can make it the electromechanical using uh, electromechanical features at environment. Okay, so if I have do some changes over here to, to create some changes, you just need to click somewhere. Okay, so you can edit something. So this one is PCB, I might use the new things, for example, this one. Okay, over here, I plan to create a circle over here. And I just need what I need to do, I just right click, create sketch and 
choose any features that I want over here and the size. Then click extrude again. I go back cancel. So this one. So over here extrude. So just click and drag. So to make it cut, the operation will be become cut. Or you plan to make it join, so become join. Okay, over here. So after you're done, you just need to click OK. So you see, when I click Save over here, so this one is reference to. Okay, so Fusion 360 also will save the previous version that you already saved. For example, okay, you see currently this knife already become version 3. Okay, and still loading for version 4. So, it, but if you plan to make it after you're done with version 4 and you want to use back your version 2, you just need to change over here. Later, you can be done. Also, when you save here, you can check back into this A360 utility knife. So what I need to do, I just need to go with click refresh. So click anywhere. Right, so you can see here utility knife. So use by my name because I currently open it. And last update is just recently update for version 4. Okay, Fusion 360 can save all version that you want. Okay, also, for example, you plan to remove this circle, you just need to click here. So this will be the things that you've done, reference to item created. Okay, for example, I plan to use this one. Okay, I just need to click on this button, promote. Okay, so this button, whole updated here. So version 5. So this will be the sequences. Okay, if you also plan to delete, also no issue. Okay, so this will be the sequence version that you already done using Fusion 360. Okay, and also for example, you want to know about the the model tree. So normally, inventor they will have left side, they will have extrude one, extrude two, revoke one. So Fusion 360, the features will be a little bit different, which is you can access here. So this will be the extrude, sketching, hole and so on. Right, so this will be the first thing that I want to show about Fusion 360. Okay, so how I want to create a new model inside Fusion 360. So before I go to new model, new parts. So I want to demonstrate Fusion 360 also can done this thing, cam. So you just can simulate and start simulate. For example, start here. Okay, so make it a little bit faster. The second process, the third process is additive. Top roughing, so make it roughing first. Okay, and then you can make it finishing. So all things you can done using Fusion 360 also. All right, so to make it a very simple object using Fusion 360, the first step, click on this file. Either you can choose design, electro, electronic design, or drawing. Drawing means if you plan to create, uh, we call it as DWG file, so then you can use new drawing from design or from animation. Okay, for example, we just go with new design. So click on this button, new design. All right, so this will be the button that have inside Fusion 360, which include create, modify and assembly okay great if you want to use extra features revolve sweep loft all here modify for example if you want to create fillet chamfer and so on you can use here okay now i will start with creating one simple shape okay just how to start just need to click on the new create sketch click so choose the sketching features that you want, for example, rectangle, circle. So for example, I create rectangle over here. So I also can key in the value 100 times 150. 100 times 150. Then go to solid, extrude. 
okay how many uh, the thickness you can drag and also key in the value five zero these features for example you already familiar with inventor and i believe fusion 360 also same or uh, if you use autocad 3d fusion 360 or we also as one another option you can use to create your mod uh, your product design okay extrude revolve sweep and loft okay so for example i want to create hole so i also can use extrude card but this one they will have one feature we call it as a hole choose size and click over here so now i just want to make it 10 mm so with thickness 50 mm so no angle i just need to click drill point through all this turn change to through all okay so this will be the second thing another option i go i i try to make it another hole click here this one i try to make it seven okay and hit okay all right so modifying is one thing one option if you plan to create fillet chamfer shell and a few more features including split okay for example i plan to create fillet just same concept same method need to click into the edge or face for example this one i click into edge one two three and four change the radius into for example this one 25 2.5 over here okay after you're done with this you also can make it shell shell same method also remove face and key in the value 2 mm right so i believe you want to know how to create assembly parts for example part one part two and part three okay over here you see they, they will have one body for example this one we call it as a top cover top cover okay and you want to make it new parts over here you just need to click right click and create create sketch so just only need to click here then extrude directly okay extrude directly to here so before you click and make sure the operation you just click into new body or new component also can okay for example i click on new component then the object will be updated into component one so this already become a new part inside this whole project so then can rename this one is bottom one bottom cover so how to convert this object this top cover into assembly so just need to click on new component click on from body this body then already become top and bottom already become assembly okay that's the idea it's quite straightforward to do it using fusion 360 modeling so what will happen if we do some changes into our model so first i say first so over here you see no this item so i click I make it as a sample two click on save okay so over here will be update new one sample to fusion 360 file so after you're done, you can export into DWG. Uh, for example, if you want to make it 2D drawing also can. If you want to check into your cloud, you just go to, again, go to A360, click refresh. So I just click anywhere and click back into content. So I already have sample two. Okay, I try to close this sample and then check back over here, my Fusion 360. So click and click back. This sample two no more uh, mentioned in use by my name because I already closed into from my software, from Fusion 360 software. Okay. When you open it, for example, uh, you have a few teams member team member over here. 
then the second person want to open okay so what they can do they can just need to open when you not use it so that's the things the idea autodesk try to make it your team can collaborate each other between members over here okay for presentation purpose you don't need to have for example you go present uh, with your sales team so you don't need to bring any laptop with software so what you need to do you just need to have internet access to access your account so you can click your parts okay and then you can click into this 3d model okay so this will be a little bit take time and i choose this one so it need, need to be loading a little bit so i'll make it first so any design or any modeling you've done with fusion 360 it will save into your cloud and after you already save into your cloud you can open it anywhere as long as you go with the link a360.autodesk.com only this okay if you have a new project you just create create, create a new one project okay i try to check to my part more like that okay just hold, hold on okay over here if i plan to change or anything do anything any improvement of my uh, modeling for example this modeling and i want to study the nas run using simulation so I just need to click here for design rendering animation this one for exploded view simulation so this will be the sample for one part they will have fan and hole and also the few component inside and i want to study about the the airflow or not flow but the heat the temperature inside the model so what i can do i can open into the file here right so i need to click into this result after done setting okay and then change from velocity to temperature now you can see the temperature where is the highest temperature inside your drawing inside your model so this will be the highest part around 100 something celsius okay but if you want to know more about the risk scale so you can click here so this will mention to you which area that give a critical scale the highest uh, the potential is one for example i want to check only the red one the red color so what i need to do i just need to drag this button only see the red color which mentioned that this part only have over critical parts so i need to improve your model using fusion 3cc okay everything you can go to here design generative design and so on okay so to do presentation you just need to using your software your fusion 360 do the modeling and go with a360.autodesk.com to save your file as a cloud and then you can open anywhere and you also can share to your other department okay for example i want to give the permission to them to share this one to other department copy and send into email okay if you tick over here allow viewer to download to their computer means you give permission to them to download it but if you don't want to give you can hide it right so what your user can do so your user can here your user can do the extrude model okay over here also your user can check how many view here and how many parts and component inside here and also your user can use this measure the ruler button to measure from first point to second point for example so I want to measure from here to here, 3 mm, about 2.8 mm. Okay, between team, you can do also this one. We call it as a collaboration. For example, your boss want to comment about what you've done here. So I just can do this button. We call it as a markup. Click on save. 
So over here will appear and I can type in anything, any information, please update. And all my team members will, here all my team members will receive a notification email. Okay, and uh, they can change the software, uh, the parts inside Fusion 3CC software again. So you need to, to do editing, you can, you need to use this Fusion 360 software. But everything will save into cloud and everyone can access it every, every time. Right, Fusion 360 here. One, two, three. Cam, modeling, simulation, and so on. So everything I already show you how Fusion 360 can help. So like I mentioned previously, Fusion 360 benefit using Fusion 360, you can use CAM full function, three, two exist and three exist milling, three plus two, four and five exist milling, full function. Okay, and also you can create a PCB design to integrate between your AutoCAD electrical and your inventor electromechanical inside here. You want to create a mechatronic, uh, electronic component over here. Okay, this one simulation strategies. If you plan to create any simulation, you can use Fusion 360 also to create a simple simulation and also advanced simulation. Okay, so this will be the new things inside Fusion 360, which you can go access Eagle Premium inside Fusion 360 and generative design technology to create multiple design using Fusion 360 itself. Okay, so that will be the idea how to do modeling. So to do modeling is quite straightforward. Click new, choose what is it, or choose sheet metal also here, surface modeling also inside this software. So I believe the information that I share to you, the method that you want to use, this will be give you a better idea on how your you and your team can collaborate between each other in using team, okay, using uh, A360 Autodesk and Fusion 360 to save, uh, to create a model, basic modeling. Okay, to create a detailed modeling, you can go with, uh, we call it as an inventor. Okay, so Fusion 360 also can make it drawing and so on. For example, here, so from this part, I just need to click here, drawing from design. Click OK, paper size. And what will open, new one, new file will open and paper size will follow what file that I choose. Okay, click here. Okay. Click on the drawing here, drag here, drag here and here. Click right. So the dimension also same. Dimension also you can make it one by one, point by point. For example, from here to this button here. Okay, Fusion 360 also can make it this thing, can save it into Fusion 360, DWG, the drawing file, or can export into PDF file. All save. So after you save, this will be updated over here. With a latest version or if you have a, a previous version also, you can check it out into this one updated uh, five version back. So you want to use the five, the yesterday version also, you just promote the yesterday version inside your Fusion 360. Okay, so that will be uh, the things that I want to share for today. And before I end up our, my presentation, so don't forget to go to this, uh, our website, acadsystem.com. So on our menu bar here, you can click on help desk, acad system help desk. So after you click on here, if you have any issue related to sales or related, related to technical, you can go continue as a guest, key in information, for example, name and here your company name. So if you want to put attach a file, for example, drawing file, you can click here. PDF, JPEG file, you can screenshot and give to us or you can insert a file over here. All right. So this will be the uh, the bundle that I mentioned earlier. So product design manufacturing collection. If you plan to go with Fusion 
only the most suitable industry, the most suitable company that go can go to Fusion 360 for those that use Inventor LT. Okay, so for example, if you use Inventor LT, then you can choose Fusion 360 as other alternative to use it you, to make it your uh, your work more smoother compared to you need to uh, go with AutoCAD. So, but my suggestion, I will like to suggest you go direct with product design manufacturing collection because this bundle have more than 15 software that very useful and the features inside here is very, uh, we can consider as a high end features you can simply create your part from zero until very detailed parts okay, for product design manufacturing. So I believe that's it from my side for today. So hopefully you enjoy and you're uh, happy with my presentation. If you want to know more about our next topic, for Thursday, we have AutoCAD dynamic block topics. And Friday, we will have import and in, uh, with inventor AnyCAD. So it means you want to open from IGS, STP file, and Revit file using inventor, how to make it. So this will be the few topics that related to manufacturing industry and very good to know this knowledge, this type of this type of knowledge. So I will wait for those that want to ask question into my chat box, into our chat box. All right, so if you don't have any, if all of you don't have any question, you can go to our website and get this contact number for KL, for Penang, or you can email to our sales and account system if you have any inquiry related to Fusion, you want to know more details about Fusion 360. So then the, uh, we will send you the brochure and also the pricing for Fusion 360 yourself. Okay, so I believe that's it for me for today. Thanks for your time and thanks for joining us uh, for a free online lesson. Okay, make sure that don't forget to follow our uh, next uh, free online lesson and don't forget to click the ring bell in, uh, on our Facebook account. I kept system, I kept system Facebook. All right, so Facebook, I kept system over here. Okay, don't forget to follow on our ICAT system Sendian Berhad page. So click like and follow together. Okay, so thanks for your time and I will end this session uh, for today. And if there are any question, just call our office. And if you want to talk with me, you just call ICAT KL and look for Shafiq. Okay, thank you so much and bye-bye.